awesome. Today we have the very last beer from Blake. So thank you, Blake, from Newfoundland. Kitty bitty, quitty bitty, quit, quittle diddle. Uh, so um, from St. John's, Newfoundland. This is Calm Tom's Double IPA at seven point five percent alcohol by volume. This, uh, yeah, this looks like it zoomed in. It did something when it hit the ground. I don't know what. Uh, you know what? Before we get going, let's let's share this. So my daughter comes running over here and she starts banging on the door and she goes, I got something to give you. It's really important. Okay, what is it? Mr. Kool-Aid man with a heart. I open it up. A potato flew around my room. Love the potato. What the fuck? What's she been smoking? She ain't been sharing it with me. Okay, let's try the beer. Yeah, there's something that went up when I dropped this phone. Seven point five percent alcohol by volume. So, um, it is the last beer he sent me. I really enjoyed getting to try all those beers from Newfoundland. It was it was something special. Something that I haven't gone to do before. I haven't tried any beers from Newfoundland before then. So it was great to see. Uh, so the Toms we know in Ontario would be Mad Tom. Calm Tom seems so much nicer than Mad Tom. Mad Tom's so mad. Calm Tom is so calm. I like Calm Tom. Hazy, crazy motherfucker. I can't see shit through that. Beautiful, slightly off-white head. Snap, crackle, pop is there. Sent, uh, we'll do the can first. That's, that's... There's something very astringent in there. Almost like... Almost like a paint thinner. Yeah, there's, there's like nail polish remover or something in there. Not that that's actually in there, but th there's just this really astringent scent on the nose that attacks my nostril a little bit. As well as that, there's some nice fruitiness. There's a nice little floral bouquet. Orange, flowers. Something that smells like acetone. A little bit of pineapple. I can't get over that acetone smell, though. I don't know what's causing it for me. I know there's not acetone in the fucking in the fucking beer and it's only 7.5% alcohol so I'm, I shouldn't be smelling any alcohol percentage on it at all yet if ever I shouldn't smell it at 7.5 but there's something in there that's setting off my setting off my brain with uh when I lived in my basement at my mother's house when she had her little hair salon and all that down there and there's something in there that just screams acetone to me which makes me really weirded out to drink this out of the glass oh the glass smells lovely the nice, beautiful, sweet maltiness, a little bit of orange, a little bit of flower, a little bit of pine, and that pineapple scent is still there, but the acetone smell is gone, so it's coming from the can. Um, cheers. Slanche. Prost. Bodacious. Okay. First and foremost... There is no acetone flavor. I'm excited about that. Um, he did send this up um, in November. It took forever to get here. I believe I have received it in late November, early December, and it's now early January. So it has aged a bit and you can tell it's aged a bit there is very nice flavors in there but they are muted they are behind the times shall we say beautiful beautiful sweet malty forefront full body light carbonation thick and oomphy it actually it has almost like it has that like velvety taste, vel well not velvety taste, but velvety feel that a nice oatmeal stout or something would have. Why am I still holding this? I always put these cans back. Why am I still holding Calm Tom? He just makes me so calm. 7.5% alcohol. I could smell alcohol, well acetone, I can't taste it. 
So that's great. That fruitiness comes through. A little bit of orange, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of orange peel. The tiniest touch of grapefruit. The floral note that I was getting on the nose isn't there. It is all earthy and all piney. There is that that forest-like flavor going on. A little bit of resininess right on the back sides of the tongue. Both sides, little little tiny bit of resininess, but it's not overpowering. It makes the beer moorish because you want to drink more because when the beer touches those parts of your tongue, it washes away that resininess. And then after it's sat for a bit, the resininess comes back and it's like, hi, I'm here to play. That's a solid beer, even aged, because again, this is not fresh. Even aged, this is a solid beer, which makes me curious what this was like fresh. Um, out of 10 on this beer, I'd give that a 7.75. I would drink that again. I would pay for that. That's a solid beer, and it's a very, very dangerous beer because it's not really warming. There's the slightest tickle of warmth right in the around the Adam's apple, but there's not a lot. That's a really solid beer. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Blake. Au revoir, a bientôt, see you soon, bye bye. Mwah.